Okay, now that we have the book block out and I did not destroy <laughs> the uh, book, so um, just have to clean up the spine a little. Okay, so if I pull this cloth away, I'm just, I want to leave this book cloth in here because it's strong. So what I'll do is just clean up all the paper off the spine here because I want this book cloth to stay. So actually I can't get any more off that right there. So I will use some Fabri-Tac and um, put some glue underneath these spots. This is where the uh, staples were. So I will clean this all up. So I want to peel this paper up so that when I glue in the um, hidden spine that it adheres really well to you know this back of the spine. So I'm just going to clean this up, take off all this excess paper that's not secured down. Get this all off. See that all comes off. So now I'm down to, um, let me zoom in just a tad. So I'm down to, as you can see, the uh, book cloth that was originally on here. So all this loose paper that was on here, um, I'm trying to take off this loose paper without um, I just want to, you know, because when you glue to the loose paper, it's obviously not going to be secure. So, without trying, see, I'll glue, I will glue this back down because this is um, the spine, the fabric spine, the book cloth spine, so that they use to connect the book together. So I'm just going to clean this up and get all this loose paper off. And uh, off camera I will put some Fabri-Tac behind here, behind this book cloth and behind these spots here and let that sit overnight so we have a good foundation uh, when we go to glue in our, my spine. So. room 14 <laughs> school so all right so across the blue bridge I love this uh, vintage uh, book so I will do that now let's work on getting these staples out which is not fun these are huge staples that go all the way through the thickness of this book so the first thing is, is to loosen these up and um, use whatever tool you want. Um, I will use this um, this little pointy thing here. So it's almost like a knife, but I just want to be able to get down underneath and see that this is so hard to do. Um, because these staples are in so hard. So I just need to get something underneath it. Um, gosh, because I don't want to ruin the pages. So let me try. Let me try. That's the only thing about these um, uh, Leatherman's is it? This is an old one, so it doesn't have the, um, you know, the locking part to it. So I just need to get underneath it. So let me try. All right, I'm getting that one. I'm gonna work on this one. Just need to lift it enough to 
get uh, my pliers in there to pull. Okay, so I got that one lifted, this one lifted. Now I'm gonna try lifting this one. There, got that one lifted. Do the same thing here. There, got that one lifted. Look at all this uh, cloth that comes up with it. Okay, so I got my uh, staples lifted. So now I'm gonna use uh, the pliers part and they might break right off too because they're so old. Okay, so bend them up and these are heavy, thick staples. I mean, they are really tough. So I just need to bend them up. I just wanna save as much of these book pages as I can. Okay, so this takes some <laughs> arm muscle to get these bent up. Okay, now let's do a different angle on this one and get them bent up. Because what I want to do is pull the staples straight through from the other side. Boy, these are tough sometimes, especially these old ones. I can just get that underneath there. Okay, I just want them straight as possible. All right, so I've gotten these straight as possible, if you can see there. All right, now the fun part, another fun part, is um, sometimes you can just push and they pop up, but um, it's probably not gonna work for me, so I need to get my blade back out. Again, just so be very careful, or use whatever tool you want. Um, I just tend to use this, but, so, I just need to get, again, a blade underneath there. This is so thick. So, now I can maybe get some of this paper out from underneath here. All right, and then, because the book, book cloth paper is, uh, you know, pressed in here really hard. And these are big, heavy machines that um, put these staples in. So I want to get this cloth out from underneath it. Okay, now I'm going to get my pliers back out and see if I can't get some of this cloth out from underneath it, the book cloth. There, got a big piece out of that one. So now I've got some room. You know, and you don't want to rush this part because, you know, you're, you're trying to save um, your book pages. So this one seems to be tough. All right, now I'm going to see if I can... to go a little heavier duty here so I'm going to take a different um, part of my tool here this is just a I don't even know what they call this but there we go a little heavier duty and twist it so I can get underneath there all right there see all that paper that comes out all right, this one. There. It's definitely not easy. <laughs> All right, now I'm gonna see if I can there, now I've got my pliers underneath here and see if I can't get these pulled out Ugh, without ripping half of the pages. There, actually it broke. That's even better because I can just pull the signatures off. There we go. 
I'm okay if it's broke. Cause see, the, um, trying to tear that out, I'm ruin ruining my signatures that are in there, the book pages. So if I can get this one to bend up, I won't rip them getting out. So they're trying to get them out. So, yep. Okay, now I might be able to pull it straight out. Boy, they're in there good. So, all right, I'm out. Sorry, I'm gonna work on this one. Oh, goodness, I forgot to um, silence my phone, sorry. All right. Let's keep going. Hopefully this one will snap. There we go. It snapped. All right. All right. I'm even better with that because um, these are just in there so tight and I just do not ruin my book pages. Okay. So I've straightened this one up. Um, this one broke off. I've straightened that one up. Okay. So, all right. So, let me um, dust off my workspace here. Put my little brush. Uh, all this little tiny debris. Staples. this little tiny brush here for all this small stuff because I don't really want to get uh, little pieces of shards of the staple in my skin. Okay, so now let's start taking the book apart uh, by, by signatures and you can see the signatures. Um, this was glued also, so um, let's see if we can start taking these apart. Okay. All right, it's a little crispy, but let's see if we can, there we go. Coming out here, just trying to be as gentle as possible. There we go. And take them out this way. There. Okay. So, this first set of signature might not be any good. Well, not been any good, but I mean, using them in the. So, now we can start taking them apart. There we go. There's string in there. All right. Here's our staples. Just be really careful. You can also, if you want, take your knife and just run it down along here to loosen up the glue if you want. But I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let it pry itself wherever it decides to. Boy, those staples still are like rusted into the pages. Let me get that back out and see if I can't pull that out. Boy, this is a tough one. 